Hey what's up guys and welcome to Gears of War 3. Now this is my Remember the Fallen Achievement Guide. Uh, this is for collecting all the cog tags through the Gears of War 3 campaign. Now the very first cog tag is right at the very start of the game. You see the cog tag logo on the wall there. Um, you want to exit your cell, turn right, uh, kick open the door on the other cell and there's cog tag number one. There is 15 of these so uh, we better get cracking. Okay, so number two is located on Act 1, Chapter 2, which is the mission anchored. Now, this is when you're on the main deck uh, and you're going to work your way to the large containers. You want to look for the red symbol cog tear on the container side. And then from that point, you want to look up and see the dead body of your a lion fellow gear. Shoot him so he drops the cog tag and then grab that one and that's number two. Okay, so this next one's not until Act 1, Chapter 4, and that's Homecoming Mission. This is where you've got to uh, use the loader to get rid of the food to transport it, but instead, right next to you, you want to jump out, because you should have seen that red cog sign on the wall. Um, right in that room is cog tag number 3 on the desk, so grab that one. Okay, so cog tag number four is located on Act One, Chapter Five, which is Help in Hand. Now, this is uh, as you're exiting the uh, secret base, you want to look left as soon as you exit that door, and you'll see the cog sign on the wall. Run down on towards the deck, and right at the very end of the deck, there is a uh, cog tag number four. Okay, so this next one's not until Act 1, Chapter 7. Uh, this is once inside the Locust Outpost by the bridge, you'll see here there's a white van coming up, and then on the little beam there you would see the cog tag sign. But if you do a 180 degree spin, you'll see a ladder that goes down. Now climb down that and then follow along the catwalk all the way until you get to uh, the cover area, which you'll see in a couple of seconds. Uh, there. Now you want to jump over that and then right on the other side is co cog tags but I was stupid and ran straight past it and then almost died right here. So where I was, turn around and you'll see the cog tag on the floor and that's number five. So we're on to Act 2 now. This is in Chapter 1, which is Shipwreck. This is basically, as you approach and rescue your team, you'll get a little cutscene. You can get this before or after the cutscene, but it's easier to get it after. Um, this is where you got to defend the area. You want to see the cog sign on that container, and then the other, the cog is just on the other side of that. Now this one is uh, located on Act 2, Chapter 2, which is Forced Entry. Now this one requires a bit of explaining because you've got to, basically, from the start of the level, you've got to avoid being detected. Now this requires you to snipe uh, and kill five people without them setting off the alarm. So for this one, I would kill the guy on the right first, that way, because the alarm is actually located all the way to the right side. Now I missed this shot, but don't worry, because there are some explosives that you can use to kill him. Don't be afraid to shoot them, because um, that will blow him up and stop him from setting off the alarm. Uh, there's a plenty of long shot ammo. There's a one shot gun there if you need need it. That'll help if, if you're not quite as good as I am, which I'm not good at all. Um, run all the way through here. The final two guys are on the roof. Uh, just kill them as quickly as you can. Just one left. Uh, there you go. Right now, that by doing that, you will open up the side door there, and then enemies will come out. That's what you need to be, because if you don't do it without being undetected, that side door will not open. So you need to go in there. That was a cool headshot right there. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, run through the side gate, and then once you can open the door, if you give a good tick or a good kick in the head, run through there. And once you can access and go through the gate, the cog tag. If you go down to the right side, down the lower section. Um, underneath a big kind of hay barrel is uh, cog tag number seven. Okay, so still on Act 2, this is ch the chapter Airborne. You've got to go onto the main road rather than return into the uh, the gas bag. Um, go onto the main road, head right, and you see the little stairs that you can go up. You want to go up there and then head right. 
uh, follow until you see like the open area and inside that little kind of shed is cog tag number eight so make sure you grab that one before you do board the gas bag Okay, so on to Act 3. This is the uh, chapter which is called Rescue. As you encounter the Berserker, this is in the area where you do fight him. From the main gate that you would have come through, you want to head right or left if you're facing the other way. Look for this door where the light is and avoid getting trampled on like I did. But I looked in the wrong place here. It's not quite there, but it's by the door anyway. It's on the other side um, behind a barrel. Mine was, so it could be hidden for you. But there's cog tag number 9. And I'm about to get trampled on again. Okay, so this is definitely one of the harder ones to miss. This is in Act 3 in the chapter Ghost Town. You have to go through this building, which is the Delhi one. Uh, look for the big sign on the roof. Uh, but if you notice through the window, you would have seen the cog tag. But once you smash the barrier, you want to head over the not-so-fresh meat counter, uh, and you would see the cog tag in that room. But you don't want to head in there. You want to head into the room to uh, the other room, which is in there, and then turn left, and by the body is cog tag number 10. Only five left to collect. Okay, so we're on Act 4 now. This is the uh, chapter Ashes to Ashes. This is when you're chasing after the Ash Man and you see that big container full of enemies would have dropped on you. But you see, if you look up there, you see the cog tag sign. You want to run behind that metal shed and then in what looks like a, a cupboard kind of thing uh, is cog tag number 11. Okay, so number 12 is located on Act 4 which, uh, and the chapter Bon Voyage. When you get the choice to what you want to search for, you must choose search for fuel. Um, you will actually do both, but if you make sure you want to choose search for fuel. And then as you encounter the first sort of main area, you want to head up the stairs, you've seen the cog tag sign on the side of that container. And as you go down steps, you'll see the main door that you've got to go through, but instead you want to head right and basically backtrack um, towards that container because around the side of it is cog tag number 12, as you can see right there. Okay, so we're on Act 5, Chapter, uh, The Blackout. This is where you've got to head up the main elevator, but if you look to the right, there's a door which would have been closed for you, and you've got to grab the silverback, but you can do that by pressing this button, which will reveal it. Make sure you grab the silverback, because you will need this to kick the door in um, after you go up the elevator. So as soon as you grab that, you need to run in the elevator, take this seriously long journey in it, uh, which takes forever. I got bored and started to run around in circles. And then once you get to the top, you're looking for a storage room that's marked number three. And on the floor, you'll see a gate that has been smashed in. There it is. You want to go through there, and you would see the cog tag sign on the wall. Uh, you do encounter quite a few um, grubs, so make sure you kill them. Um, but if you look, there's a storage room number three. You see the cog tag sign on the wall. Kick the door in, and then once you've done that, you want to uh, leave the... Uh, silver back and then on the floor is cog tag number 13 that only leaves two left to collect Okay, so the next one is located in Act 5 in the chapter called Shattered Paradise. This is when uh, you're in the main area, just after the room with the angel statue. You'll be in like the main kind of plaza. Um, you want to head right, you would have seen the cog tag on the wall on the end. And then on the floor is cog tag number 14. Uh, and the last one is just a bit further on, so make sure you grab that one, because that only leaves one left. Okay, so the final one is located in Act 5, a chapter called Ascension. This is where Jack stops the elevator. You've got to use the, uh, to open the door and you'll be in kind of a really kind of dark area. You can use your um, objective highlighting tool uh, to make this a bit clearer for you if you need. But right in the back corner, you'll see the cog tag sign on the wall and then some boxes. Uh, you need to destroy those because behind them is uh, cog tag number 15 and then your achievement hopefully so as soon as you can like gain control you want to either chainsaw it or get through it somehow and then grab that cog tag uh, that is all one half of the collectibles done basically because there's the achievement remember the fallen but there are 42 other collectibles which doesn't show in this video but my other videos will walk you through all 1 to 42 and grant you access to that achievement so thanks for watching guys i hope this helps make sure you subscribe and i will see you again very soon